Welcome to Staying Home with Stacy. Uh, today we're going to do something kind of fun. Uh, we're, we're always doing something kind of fun, but this is really fun. And this is one of my favorite things because it's really where I do all of the talking and Mike does most of the work. So today we're making a bath mat out of wine corks. Um, you do have to drink a lot of wine to get to the point where you've got enough to make a wine cork. We're going to use about 500. Um, you can use anywhere from 3 to 500. And truth be told, we did um, get some from other people because I didn't drink that much wine. Although we did have a fair amount here at the house. So the first thing we're going to do is Mike's going to start drilling some holes because we've got to have a way to attach these. And he's drilling not lengthwise. Just like that. So um, we have to do that with all of the corks that we're going to use, um, which means he's doing that with 500 of them. But then once we're all done with that, very nice. Once we're all done with that, we're going to take those and we're going to string them along and make our bath mat. Okay, so once we have drilled those holes in all of those corks, and again, like I said, um, we're using 500 for this. You can use anywhere between three to 500, um, 300 to 500, depending on how large you want your bath mat to be. Ours is going to end up being about uh, 21 inches tall by roughly 36 to 37 inches wide. Um, so we're making a nice big one here. But what we're gonna do is um, we're using rows of 25 and we're taking each cork and we're putting it on this string to make the rows. Now we're using hemp rope, um, and I believe that Mike has a reason that we're using the hemp rope. Um, do you want to elaborate on that a little bit, Mike? Sure. So I went with the hemp rope um, because I figured if we were being crafty like this, we might as well go full hippie. I actually asked for a patchouli scented candle and Stacy V took me. Okay, that's not the reason. He actually said that it was going to be um, heavier and more durable and do the job better and also it would um, look nice with this. So those are the reasons that, uh, that he gave me. He's funny, isn't he? Yeah. Um, so as you can see, I'm kind of twisting the rope as I put it in. That's simply because of the way the holes were made with the drill. So you do want to give it just a little twist and, and we drilled them. Mike was nice enough to drill them, and Liam did some drilling for us too, um, so that we can see either um, pictures or designs, lettering on the corks, um, just to give it a nice, um, nice decoration. It, it'll make the bath mat look not so plain. So I've got 25 on here, and then I'm going to let Mike take over, and he's gonna show you how to tie the knots and how we place these. So we've got 25 corks on a string and we're going to have 20 rows across when we're done. But I will step aside and let you take over. All right, so I'm going to, I okay, see we've got a lot of cord, or a lot of cord on one side, not as much as I need on the other. I just try to even it up on the string so that I can tie them that just so there's some cord over there you can adjust these however you want to it's fine again like I like Stacy was saying try to make it so it's going to be visually pleasing too because why not they're such fun the corks are just you know pretty cool to look at so I found that um, I was going to just tie the tie them the way they were and not worry about fixing them together row by row <clears throat> and I found that that doesn't work so well um, so I'm using a little bit of hot glue and I've been what I've been doing is gluing every other cork so if you look like these two I don't know if you can zoom in Liam that's a hot glue gun yes so we're going to use the hot glue gun um, <laughs> but over here you can see like I've got this glued but these two right here are not so then these two are glued so I'm just sort of alternating row by row, gluing every other one in an alternating pattern. That way it's still flexible and has some give to it. The cork is going to expand as it gets wet and contract, and it needs to have the ability to do that, but still be 
a little more rigid than the design my concept allowed. So that's why I'm doing it that way. So, and I'll show you the hot glue is simple. Take my glue gun, it's already plugged in and hot. These are already glued, so I'm starting with this one. Just a little dot of glue right there. And I try not to make a glue mess. Of course, I'm going to because I'm on camera. Uh, and then just glue it to that one. And I'll go down and alternate all the way down this row doing that. And I like to glue them first um, before I tie. But for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and tie. And we'll do it on this end just so you can kind of see. Well, no, we're not going to do it on that end. We're going to do it down here. And you might have to, Liam, you might have to get a little higher to, to show. Um, all I'm going to do here is tie a square knot. And you look at these other knots and kind of see how I've done these other five rows. Okay, so once I've got them glued, all I do is just tie a simple Boy Scout square knot. So. And you know a square knot, for those of you who are not challenged, do you see how this comes out on both sides at the bottom over here, both sides at the top over here? That's a square knot. Do you see how that rope pattern works? You tie it like that, and it's tied, and then you tie it the same way at the other side. on the other side. Same situation, you've got a nice tight knot that's not gonna come loose. And that's sort of how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and record, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and glue the rest of this. And we're going to string more and more and more. Obviously, we've got we're going to do 25 rows, and we've got six here. So you can imagine how much work we've got to do. Okay, so we have strung together um, all of our rows of 25 corks. Uh, we have 20 rows, so we've used 500 corks to make this entire bath mat. Um, you can obviously use less, do like a 300 quart bath mat that's going to push you right around here in terms of size, make it a little more square. We want to go with the large one. Um, the cork is going to absorb the moisture when you step out of the tub, so it's going to be wonderful. And um, beyond that, it's comfortable. It's a little, little squishy, got a little give to it. You could also use this as you know a, a mat to stand on in the kitchen, but we want it for the bathroom. So, um, it's real easy to do. All you need is a bunch of corks, some reused hemp string, um, tighter knots, and then, and then cut our excess, um, a drill, and a hot glue gun. Really, that's, that's all that you need to create this beautiful bath mat. So, I would say, get yourself some wine, be sure you save the cork, um, buy some hemp rope, get out your drill, get out your glue gun, have a good time. Bye.